Welcome back to What Archie Noobs with General Disturbance and this is an M44 and an M44 that you've seen before because this one belongs to Ram Tuff and he's located on the south spawn of Fiery Salient and you can see that that's, uh, that's Ram Tuff's uh, M44 because he's got the Stars and Stripes and the name Devastator on the side of his M44. Now he's not staying in the bushes like uh, most Artie would, he's after a more different uh, firing position, an unconventional one, that's the word I was looking for. Picking a more central spot so he can help both sides of the battlefield at the same time. Okay, now there's a T-37 running the ridgeline, as well as a Type, a Type 64. And they're doing runs up and down, spotting as many as they can. But that T3485M is not. He's actually looking to sh get shots in. And he gets a lovely hit. 195 hit points onto him. So that will persuade him. It's not the right move to try and come up to the ridge line and take shots like that. Because you're going to get hit by Artie. Okay, he fires another round in. And he tracks the T3485 and does 91 hit points of damage. It is possible to hit those fast movers, the light tanks, as they're going up and down. Um, it takes a lot of practice to do so, but it can be done. Round out, and he does, he gets a hit into that Type 64. 195 hit points on him. Now a lot of uh, light tank players and medium tank players accuse Arty of cheating when we hit light tanks who are on the move, especially when they're going at full speed. But no, nope, it's actually because we practice it a lot. And therefore we can judge exactly where to put the shell to hit them, even if they're moving at full speed. Okay, he's getting a request for fire on that Type 62, which is ma rapidly making his way down the hill. Okay, he's going after the T67 round out. And he gets a lovely hit like that, exactly what I was pointing out. 203 hit points and a, a stun assist as well. And the T-37's taken out. Very bad move to keep running up and down on the same line. Because an experienced RT player will take you out. Okay, T-3485, he's backing away. I think it's the same one he hit earlier. And he's got 269 hit points on this one. Four critical hits. Yep, that's there. the enemy side only has one T-3485. So that is the same one he hit before. He still hasn't learned his lesson. You don't poke that line and try and take shots like that because you will get hit. Now, they've occupied most of the hill, but there's an enemy Carnarvon there in near those farmhouses. He's dialing in his aim, indicating his target, using his tiki, telling everyone what he's after. Round out. And a good solid hit. 136, two critical hits. He's tracked it. He's picking up stun assist as well. Shell's coming in from the hill. He's almost reloaded. Rounds out. Another hit. 161 this time. Still after the same target. He indicated his target. Rounds out again. And another hit. 246 hit points this time. That Carnarvon can't last much longer. And he's been taken out. So he picks up some stun assist on top. But the enemy has managed to clear most of uh, Ramtoff's team off the hill. And the reason is there's an IS-2 up there. And he moved up the hill and took out that T-34. Gets a chunk of him there with a splash. 73 hit points. There's a VK on the other side as well. And that VK has just been uh, taken out by the Scorpion G. I think he's going to focus on that IS-2 because he is the problem on the hill. We've got a bit of reticle bloom there. He's right at the edge of his uh, firing arc. The great thing about the M44, it does have a wide firing arc because the gun swivels in the mount. But the problem is that when you get to the limits, you do get m massive reticle bloom at the wrong moment. So it helps to pivot the whole vehicle. 
and allow the aim to dial in naturally. He's still on that IS-2. If it advances forward, though... No, the IS-2 move, move forward. There's a Panther M10. Some really annoying Panthers. These are the ones which... The cosplay Panthers. The ones which are very dangerous. Rounds out. Direct hit. 207 hit points. Three critical hits. Now he has moved the vehicle this time so he can get at the IS-2 and the Panther. Indicating the Panther as his target. And he hits it! Now we don't know how much damage he did but it must have been a solid hit. The IS-2 is joining the cosplay. And the cosplay has lost half his health now. And he's continuing to lose more health. The IS-2 gets a hit, and he's tracked. Another 74 hit points. Ramtuff's really racking up the damage. He's at 1,800 hit points already. Okay, Centurion. He's in a town, or in the village rather. This is a, a encounter battle. And he's trying to get into the cap. Now Ramtuff's trying to line up the shot. There's a Dicamax, a dangerous tank destroyer. He's on that ridge line there. Uh, but he wants to get the Centurion. Uh, unfortunately, it backs behind the house. There's a, a, a Yak Panther 2. Rounds out. Lovely hit there, 207. It's continuing to indicate his target. Anyone in, everyone in chat, that's his target. He's when he's going to be reloaded. 12 seconds to the next shot, he's ready to go. No, he can't see the others. He can only see Centurion, but he's lost the Centurion. Now there's the Centurion. Rounds out. It lands in front of the Centurion, but stuns him. He's picked up some stun assist, but it's backing into the cap again. And he's almost reloaded. It's going to sit behind that house. There's the Yag Panther 2 again. He's had a fire request on that Yag Panther 2. He shoots, gets a hit, 171. When his teammates indicate the fire support or fire request, the crosshairs appears above the target. He responds with his cheeky, and you get the down arrows telling everyone that's what I'm going to go for. And he kills the Centurion, 59 hit points. There's two enemies capping. Now, both equally scored at the moment. There's uh, 10 on both sides. But all of the enemy has got uh, tank destroyers, except one arty. And that arty is an FB304. Whereas Ramtuff's team has got uh, a medium, two tank destroyers, and they just lost one of their uh, team. They lost the box tank. And that round's going in on the SU-100. The enemy's halfway through their cap. They've got two in the cap. Now, I have to suppose that one of the enemy is going to be the Agpan for two that he fired at earlier. And the other one, I suspect, will be the Dicamax. The Dicamax move forward. There's the Dicamax. Been spotted. Yes, he is in the cap. Now, if he can get a round into this, it's an open-topped TD. Round out. And he gets a kill shot. 131 hit points. It's always good fun to shoot at an open-top TD because you do a lot of damage. And unfortunately, the SU-100 appears to be going into the cap. No, he's, he's trying to go after the SU-152 on Ramtuff's team. He's indicating the Yag, Tiger, Yag Panther. Unfortunately, the Yank Panther just took out the SU-152 on Ramtuff's team. There's only two left on his team. He's going to have to go in. One of them's in the cap, the T-43. And the T-43's just been taken out, so it's just Ramtuff. He's the only one left. There's two in the cap, so he can't 
kill both at the same time, but it is two. There are only two left on the enemy team, so we know who they are. It's the SU-152 and the Yank Panther 2. Now, he has damaged that Yank Panther 2 substantially, so a single shot should be enough to finish him off. And last time he was seen, he was on this side of the cap. There's only one in the cap now. So I suspect the SU-152 has left the cap and is hunting, because I doubt if the Yank Panther 2 will want to do that. He's got very low hit points. The SU-152 is probably headed south, thinking that uh, Ramtuff is in the bushes at the next to the railway line. But of course, that's not where he is. And he's aiming for behind the buildings. Now might be the time to actually go in and actually uh, try and shotgun whichever of the TDs is in the cap. But he's got to be careful about how he approaches the enemy. Even though he's going to come in very quickly, he will be spotted because it's a fairly open cap. Really what he wants to do is come up from below uh, the escarpment on the railway line, so he can't be seen on the approach, but then to rapidly come up the, the uh, escarpment into the cap, locate the enemy and then shotgun him. If you suddenly appear out of nowhere, then the enemy has very little time to react. Unfortunately, he's only got 1 minute 20 seconds to do it. And I think he's going to try and come in from the south, uh, from the north and approach from that direction. But that's fairly open, so he might be spotted on the way in. And the enemy might have enough time to turn around and shoot him before... I mean, he's, he's got two IET hit points, but I'm not sure that he can survive a good shot from the, uh, from the enemy with a HE round. He's going to try another round in to blind shot the, uh, the capper. He really needs to get a move on though. He needs to get motoring now. He needs to go in. Don't, don't come out, Ramtuff. Go in. I think he's run out of time now. He can't run, he can't go in. He hasn't got enough time to get into the cap, find the enemy and shotgun him. Yep, he's, he's lost his opportunity to do a shotgun kill. Yep, five seconds, four seconds, three, two, one. And he's lost it. Oh. Oh, well. I think sometimes you just have to throw chances to the wind, go for it, and just take it on and try and win. But unfortunately, it didn't happen in that occasion. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's still an ace tanker for Ramtuff in the M44. He also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 22 critical hits. And he picked up a gauze medal for getting at least 10 times damage, 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle. On top of which, he managed to get a confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. At least six tanks that were subsequently destroyed by members of his team. On the team scores, he came top. Um, no, he came second top with uh, 2,602 hit points of damage. The uh, Scorpion G came top. Uh, he came joint second with two kills. And he came top when it came to base XP of 712. Because, of course, he hit more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. He fired 25 rounds, got 12 direct hits, 12 penetrations, 6 splash, damage of 2,602 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. He hit 9 of the enemy, uh, so nearly two-thirds of the enemy team, uh, more than half, by sure, and he killed two of them. He also got stun assistance damage of 949 hit points and caused 16 stuns. And he managed to stop 17 cap points in total. On a standard account, he earned 31,727 credits. And he also picks up an achievement award for getting a epic medal, which is the Confederate medal, uh, of 3,671 credits. So the total comes to 35,398 credits. 
and after you take away ammunition resupply he takes away 22,773 credits. He received base XP of 712 but he adds on the uh, achievements award for the confederacy uh, or confederate of 424 experience points so he takes away 1136 in total. So nice try yeah, Ramtuff. Um, I, I would have gone in there to, to the cap myself and just said well hell let's go for it let's take them out if we can face to face but uh, I'm pretty sure it was the Yag Panther 2 that was in the cap and he was badly damaged already so I think you might have had a chance to shotgun him or it would have been uh, fun uh, seeing who could be first on the draw uh, once you actually did discover them and they found out where you were but uh, anyway not to be this time maybe next time if you enjoyed this replay, please do give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully I'll be seeing you in the next replay.